everyone. Hope you're having a great day. It's Carolyn from Mommy Ramblings, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite things to do, which is decoupage. That's my triple thick, and the one before that was the napkin decoupage. I'll put the links in the video description, and that is the Aileen's Premium Decoupage, which I use if you can't get the napkin decoupage. And then there are the different Mod Podges. There's the Extreme Glitter, which I use. There's the waterproof one, the fabric one, the gloss, and um, the mat. So I have, will have all those links in the video description. And these are some of the shells that I've done. And I do sell these shells in my live sales as well as napkins. So if you're brand new to the channel, I urge you to subscribe and click the bell for all notifications so you don't miss any of my live sales because I have great deals on beautiful napkins and shells and other decoupage products. These are just some of the things that I have done recently. I'm really loving the shells and they make beautiful gifts, especially if you put a little easel stand with them. Holidays are coming up, but there's something special that's made from you and you can line them with the gold paint. And it's just really one of my go-to hobbies. It's very relaxing and I've introduced a lot of people to it who feel the same. So let's um, look at some of some tips, tricks, things that I can show you. These are still, this is what the triple thick, but this one I also did on the back. And I've recently purchased the Mod Podge Super Gloss. So with these, you're gonna to wanna to paint the inside. Some people don't want to, but I think a pure white really makes that napkin pop. The fan shells, a lot of them don't even need to be painted because they don't have like an oyster shell or a clam shell, the yellowy or the black spot. But these, I'm going to be finishing that beautiful blue one. See how the oyster shell has that uh, spot? And some of that is beautiful too. You may want to just glaze that. And there are ones that I have that look like angels and things that I'm going to make holy families with. They have a lot of DIY projects coming up. And um, please stay, stay tuned to the channel. So like I said, I, I do sell beautiful napkins. I curate beautiful collections and I go all over for them. And you get the benefit of without having to buy huge packages, I can sell you beautiful collections. And so check us out on live sales. And of course, anytime you wanna go back on a live sale and you say, hey, could you get a package like that together for me? and I will do my best to do that. Now this is the triple thick. So what I'm gonna do is put this on this shell and just be careful. You don't wanna overstroke it. I know that's a joke, but you also don't want it pooled somewhere because what will happen is it will dry like a big ugly glob and then you'll have to get rid of that, which is could ruin your whole project. So I just brush it on you can do two or three coats if you want. It all depends on the look you're going for. You see this, some that I showed you have a real, real high, high gloss. But it also depends on the napkin you're using. When you're using those dark blues, that gloss really comes across. But now this is the blush peony napkin. So if you like this napkin, you'll, oh, I have to have that. Just tell me I want a blush peony. And I can put them together for you. And if you want multiples of the same napkin, I can do that too. I love this little kitten one. It has four different designs of kitten best friends. They're so cute. Uh, maybe this for one of my moderators who just loves cats. And that is actually the shell that I made her. And it has a design on the back as well. And then I trimmed it with gold, gave her a little easel, and I just love it. So... The triple thick, I do like it. I did order the Extreme Gloss Mod Podge. I don't think it's the same caliber of the triple thick. This is a beach scene. I used a little bit of the Glitter Mod Podge on there. I do like the Glitter Mod Podge because you get that lovely glittery without glitter falling off. Now here I'm putting on a little triple thick on this. This is just a polished shell pair that I use that uh, blush peony napkin 
and this is just a small little shell which I put a butterfly on and I'm putting a little bit of a gloss I actually used an iridescent paint by Lumiere and I will put those in the video description as well if you're discovering me for the first time I love decoupage I love um, all kinds of decoupage from burning or I call dangerous fire decoupage to now my favorite method whenever you can is the iron on with the little mini iron and I like the Nakapa iron which I will link also in the video description that's one of the golden oyster shells that I'm going to make an angel with and I'll show I have that DIY coming up as well there's another one of my oyster shells that I'm going to use for an angel so I'm just putting on just a little bit of a um, actually cleaning my brush as you would before I rinse my brush up the triple thick I will go over as many shell backs and stuff as I can that way I'm not wasting the product now this is something okay this is a shell that originally looks like and I'll get the original here that okay and I just wanted to see if I painted it white with the chalk paint and then decoupaged on that how this would look and I am telling you I love the way this came out I love it and everybody that sees this is like wow so I just love it so now I'm going to put a little bit of the of this beautiful napkin and if you like the napkin I'm using here I have those that I'm able to sell you and it's the you know you can just see the just say the napkin that you did the the shell with on your um, on your video and right now I'm drawing a blank I think that's the King Con shell I, I can't remember the name of that shell but you could just say that twisty shell and I'll remember that um, I did sell these shells too yes and so some of you have these I will be getting more shells to sell and so these are some of the napkins that I have and that's probably the hardest part is figuring out what napkin to use for me anyway because sometimes I overthink it but I decided to go with this sea life napkin which I think really complements the shell and I absolutely love the way it came out love it so I'm cutting out and remember you have to take the layers off I see so many people that have decoupage videos and they don't take off all the layers of their napkin and an easy way to get the last layer off is with a scotch tape or a painters tape so just always make sure you have it and I see these are some of the anchor napkins and I'm just kind of thinking well what what do I want to put on there um, so many napkins so little time as they say right <laughs> but I'm gonna go with that with this napkin right here that has the so you want to take the layers off the piece you're going to use I'm going to do this in pieces make sure you get it down most Latin napkins are three layers you can use scotch tape or painters tape to help you separate the layers and then use your decoupage medium and for this one I'm using the aliens everything is linked in the video description remember and I'm carefully getting that into the nooks and crannies of this shell going right over the top layer you don't have to put it underneath the napkin layer it is so thin that you can just put it right on the top you don't want to overwork the napkin you can use a saran wrap to help you get any you know bubbles or anything out and make sure that you have enough medium because a lot of people think oh I don't want to use too much because it might make the napkin disintegrate it's actually the other way if your napkin is too dry and you're trying to do something like that so you're going to let it dry in between the different pieces and I'm going that's what I'm going to be doing adding different pieces of the napkin to the shell to get a complete look and um, you're going to see the shell finished by the time we finish this video so now I'm going to look at these little three fish and think that these might look nice along the stem of that shell so I'm going to separate the layers on that and then kind of figure out the placement and once I get all the layers separated I'm going to then apply that 
where I want. And it's a simple process. And you know what? It's easier if you're working with small pieces, especially when you're getting started, then you're trying to work with a large piece of napkin, especially on a shell that's twisty and has, um, you know, like little knobby things on it. So it's much easier to work with smaller pieces. And then also, if you're working with a smaller piece, you mess it up, you can just wipe that off with like a wet paper towel or something. You don't have to scrap your whole project and then just add it on. So I'm going to put that on there and just put a little of the medium on top. And let that dry. But you see it has a totally different look and I just just love the way this came out. And then I did put some of the triple thick on top of that. And it's just really shiny, really nice. You'll see it when it's all finished at the end because I did film this video in um, different stages so that you would get the whole picture of everything I did here, okay? So now I've got my next piece, yellow little fish, and I'm going to try to figure out where I want him. And I think I found where I want him, so. Now, I didn't like that there. I tried it, I didn't like it, so you see I quickly removed it and you don't your rest of your products uh, project still stays there you know what I mean you don't have to scrap your whole project you can remove something you don't have to go with something you don't like if you start putting something somewhere and say ah I don't like that just you know take it off and continue and I'll tell you don't get discouraged decoupage products especially like napkins when they're wet you can't see the full beauty of them like when they're dry. So don't get discouraged. Let your product, your project dry. Now see, this is the finished project. I just went on, oops, almost dropped it, um, and added more and more of everything. And then I went in with a beautiful gold metallic paint. And you see the difference, right, between the two shells. And I just love them. And then I went over with some triple thick. But you see how I did the, I trimmed the uh, edges in gold just love it and um this is the finished one for my moderator that i did on both sides and i just i adore that one gave her a little easel stand and i think she just loves that she loves cats here's one i did for uh christmas i have to go over the back where that napkin i sand that off i'm not finished with that one this is one of the peony ones and two of the peony ones these come out lovely. And if you like this napkin, I sell this napkin. Just ask me for the peony napkin. Okay. And then I did this one, which is a lovely napkin that I used for a tote bag too. If you missed my tote bag and I'm going to put that on, I have to paint uh, the back of that. That's not finished. And this is the beautiful blue that I did in this uh, clam shell. And it makes such a beautiful little trinket dish. I really like that a lot. And the beach scene that I used that glitter uh, Mod Podge with. And this one, this is one of my favorites because it's a polished clam pair. And then I put that pink peony napkin. And that's, you know, one napkin right there. And I still have so much of it left. Okay, this is another one of my little trinket dishes. Really like that. Um, another one with the little feathers. These little round little clamshells, I just love them. They make these little perfect dishes. They're great on a desk for paper clips or something like that. I'm gonna make the angel out of that one. And that's one I found on the beach in Edisto Island, South Carolina. And that's another one that I'm going to use for an angel. Just love these pine cone ones. They're, they make a beautiful, for all winter, you know, it's not just Christmas, and I made a lovely tote bag, and I'm going to put all that stuff up, but I just love these. Trimming them with the gold paint, again, all of that will be linked in the video description. But if you're looking for something, you know, a craft or something to make homemade gifts for people, 
A napkin decoupage on shells is a great place to start. It is. Any kind of decoupage is. And with the iron, um, people that have had trouble doing canvases before or wood trays will love it with the iron. Now, this is a pine cone from North Carolina that I decoupaged. It's one of the stranger objects that I've ever decoupaged, but I just absolutely love it. I love it. And it was relaxing. I actually did a lot of that when I was doing my live videos at night. Um, many people who have watched me from way back remember uh, there's many times I decoupage during my live streams. Um, it's just something that's very relaxing to me. Look how beautiful that is. And look how beautiful these are. They're just so gorgeous. And the feels that, you know, the way they feel, if you like sensory things, if you like little touchstones, some of those shells, especially with the glaze on them, feel so wonderful. And again, these are some of the beautiful napkins that I have and that I sell during my live sales. And, you know, if I am having a new website for my napkins and I already have the domain, but I have to get my butt in gear and get uh, everything photographed and on there. So, but I just love decoupage. There's another look again at that shell. Just love it. Love it. And... You know, that's the shell in its natural state. And I like it in its natural state too, um, but I love the difference. I have a few of those and I just wanted to do them, but I just, I love them. I love giving the shells away to friends because they can get something that I made for them. And then I put my time in and I really try to make it special get an easel and it's wonderful. And I really hoped you enjoyed this. I have a decoupage playlist. I'll link that too in the video description. And as we go through to the holidays, I'm going to be doing a lot more DIY. So I hope you follow me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Get out there and make it your day and be kind, be sweet, and just be a good person. The world's a better place if you're a good person. All right. Take care, everybody. See you later. Thank you so much. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and my, all of that is linked in the video description, too. And I have two Facebook pages, one for the True Crime Chat with Mommy Ramblings and one for, for the main Mommy Ramblings.org. So thank you again so much for watching. Again, if you're brand new, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get all notifications and you'll know when we're live or we upload a video. And if you like this video, I'd love you to give it a thumbs up, share it out there to your friends. And Mommy Ramblings, we're living the dream and everything in between. Take care, guys.